Transitioning smoothly. Express your opinions with confidence. Hello, English learners. Welcome back to our series on conversational English. Today, we are diving into the fascinating world of opinion vocabulary. Our focus for this video is transition words for opinions. Why are these so important? Because using them can significantly enhance your conversational skills, allowing you to express your opinions more naturally and fluently. So, what are transition words? Transition words are like bridges in a conversation. They help connect your thoughts and ideas smoothly, making your speech or writing more coherent and easy to follow. Today we're looking at transition words that are specifically used when expressing opinions. These words are very useful for making your point of view clear and persuasive. Let's look at some commonly used opinion transition words and phrases. 1. In my opinion. In my view. These phrases are very straightforward. They make it clear that what follows is your personal opinion. 2. I believe. I think. These verbs are very commonly used to introduce an opinion. 3. As far as I'm concerned. This is a more formal way of saying, in my opinion. 4. If you ask me, this is a casual and slightly indirect way of giving your opinion. 5. Personally, I feel. I find. These are other ways of introducing a personal opinion. Let's see how to use these transition words in sentences. 1. In my opinion, we should take the bus to avoid traffic. 2. I believe that everyone should have access to free health care. 3. As far as I'm concerned, the solution to this problem is more education. 4. If you ask me, that's the best movie of the year. 5. Personally, I feel that the meeting could have been shorter. Now, It's your turn. Try to use these transition words in your own sentences. Practice them until you feel comfortable using them in conversations. And there you have it, your guide to using transition words for expressing opinions. Remember, practice makes perfect. The more you use these words and phrases, the more natural your English conversations will become. So, Don't be shy and start sharing your opinions in English. We hope you found this video helpful, and we look forward to seeing you in our next one. Until then, keep practicing, and happy learning!